security when the menses and postpartum bleeding comes to an end when the menses come upon you leave the fears and when the menses leave you then make gossip postpartum bleeding carries the same ruling as menstruation in this manner, according to the consensus of the scholars. Also on the day of Friday is obligatory on every post puberty person. The essential components of the Muslim. The intention, the Prophet said, verily all actions are based on intention reaching the entire body with water the preferred way to perform the ghusl what the prophet would perform ghusl because of when the prophet would perform ghusl because of sexual defilement he used to begin by washing his hands and then he would pour water from his right hand to his left hand and wash his private part he would learn perform he would then perform the ablution of the prayer. Then he would take some water and put his fingers down to the roots of his hair. When he saw that he fulfilled that part, he would pour three handfuls of water over his head using both hands. Finally he would pour water over all his body and then was his feet and then was his feet it is not required for a woman to unbraid her hair when she makes ghusl due to sexual defilement well however she must do so when making ghusl after her menses um salama said well messenger of allah i am a woman with tightly braided tightly braided braided hair on my head do I need to undo them for making ghusl, making a ghusl due to sexual department? He replied, no. It will be sufficient for you to pour three handfuls of water over your head and then pour water over yourself and you will be purified. Asked the Prophet about the ghusl after the menses, he replied, she should take her water and mix with low tree leaves and purify herself well with it and then pour water over her head and rub it in well until it reaches the roots of her hair then she should pour water over herself then she should take a piece of cotton with musk on it and purify herself with it. Asma asked, how shall she purify herself with it? He said, exalted by Allah, she should purify herself with it. I should then, then kind of whispered to her, she should apply it to the traces of blood. She, Asma, then asked him about whistle. Don't don't sexual defile don't where was that sexual defile Tahir where was I due to such defilement in the rise and purify herself well with it deep purification and then pour water over her head and rub it until it reaches the roots of her hair and then pour water over herself. This hadith is explicit in demonstrating that the whistle of the woman after menses differs from that due to sexual defilement. In one case, the Prophet emphasized that the woman must rub vigorously and purify herself in a way that was not emphasized while describing the whistle due to sexual intercourse. Similarly, the hadith of Um Salama is evidence that it is not obligatory to unbraid one's hair for the whistle due to sexual defilement the basic ruling would be for her to undo her braids in order to ensure that the water reaches what is below them 
However, she is excused from doing so due to number due to the number of times she would have to do that and the hardship that she would encounter encounter as so opposed to the case of the ghusl after the menses which occurs only once in a month. It is permissible for a husband and wife to perform the ghusl together in one place wherein one can see the private parts of the other. Aisha said I would make ghusl with the messenger of Allah from one bowl while we're, while were both sexually defiled. Occasions in which it is recommended to make ghusl perform ghusl for every separate act of sexual intercourse. Noted that the Prophet would visit the different his different wives during one night to make ghusl for each one. Said to him, O Messenger of Allah, can't you just make one make it one? He replied, This is purer, better and more purifying. Perform ghusl, form ghusl for every prayer. By the woman who is Mustahada, she can perform ghusl for every prayer or for the noon and afternoon prayers together with one ghusl and the sunset and night.